This is the end, got the song, and if you haven't done it yet, turn it off, do it now, or you'll probably forget. Miller calls can wait till you get home, so while you're here, turn off your phone. Well, now that we have that business out of the way, welcome to the Voices Only concert. Thank you for being here tonight. Uh, we're looking forward to uh, sharing music with you that we've worked on since August, except for the times that we were working on Christmas music. Uh, we took a little time off in November for that. Um, this is kind of the culmination of the entire year of our adventures. Uh, the group has sung the national anthem at all of the football, home football games. They have um, performed in high area high schools. They have performed in some area churches. Uh, they did a high school tour during spring break. I took half their spring break away from them so that we could tour some high schools. We got to have some fun team building um, in St. Louis during that weekend. Um, they participated in the Requiem for the Living by Dan Forrest in the beginning of March. And here we are. <laughs> so uh, because of the kind of songs, uh, the kind of audiences that we have, we sing a little bit of everything because we need to sing songs that are crowd pleasing as well as beautiful art songs. So I look for things that will challenge them regardless of the style or genre. And uh, I think something in here will be something that you like. I'm sure you'll find one, at least one song that you like tonight. So we're looking forward to a great evening. The first song we're gonna start with is a Renaissance Madrigal. When I introduce this group to high schools, I say Voices Only sings everything acapella from the Renaissance to present day. Well, present day stuff is a lot of pop and jazz, and you'll hear that in the second, um, in the second half. But at the beginning, this was the pop music of the 15th and 16th centuries. It's called Fair Phyllis. Feeding her flock near to the mountain side. Fair Phyllis, I saw sitting on the lawn. Feeding her flock near to the mountain side. The shepherd, the shepherd, they knew not whither she was gone. They knew not whither she was gone. from its beginning all the way through to all of the musicality and all of the expression. Um, the Darkling Thrush is a, a romantic poem uh, set by, mm, it's the 20th century, it's set in the 20, uh, by a 20th century composer. Um, it kind of represents the closing of the turn of, of the, 18, the 1800s going into the 1900s and the uncertainty that some people felt about that. But among all of the darkness and the sharpness and the dreariness of that winter of losing the 1800s, 
you see, you hear the hope of the darkling thrush.
song is Esto Les Digo. The translation of our next song is, This I say to you, if two, or, if two of you are put in a cord, a cord heron to ask anything in prayer, my Father which is in heaven will give it to you, because where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in the midst of them.
British Isles uh, for some Celtic music. We're going to start with Derriere and then we'll do a folk song called Dulaman. And Dulaman is kind of a flirty folk song. Um, it's funny how some, some folk songs have a chorus that is nonsense. You know, in that hall with boughs of holly is follow la la la, there's a lot of those in there, it means nothing. This nonsense is uh, seaweed and oceans and oceans and seaweed and seaweed and oceans. Um, but the storyline of this song is that there's a guy and he's trying to impress a girl and the girl's not impressed with a single thing he's offering her. So that'll be um, a fun ending to our first set. I do want to let you know that we will have a 10 minute intermission so that we can uh, get ready for our second set. Thank you. Thank you. 
originally written by Irving Berlin, the next two songs are from the American Songbook. The first one is a melancholy love song, the second is a bright, happy, optimistic piece. Both songs have been arranged for a cappella ensembles by Deke Sharon, one of the foremost composers of a cappella pop and jazz music today.
ready for some chili con carne? Did, Did somebody say chili con carne?
We'd like to end the concert with He's Got the Whole World in His Hands. We um, are want to be very hopeful. There are a lot of there's a lot of negativity in our world right now in our country, and we have tried very hard this year to be as hopeful and as uh, positive as we can, possibly can. And so we'd like to leave you with this thought that He's Got the Whole World in His Hands. He's got the